Welcome to an exploration of one of mathematics' greatest mysteries, prime numbers. I'm James P. Moore, and today we'll uncover the equations that define the very fabric of these enigmatic numbers. For over 2,000 years, mathematicians have grappled with primes from Euclid's elements to the sieve of Eratosthenes. But today we stand on the precipice of a breakthrough that could revolutionize our understanding. The allure of prime numbers has captivated us throughout history. As G. Tannenbaum and M. Mendes noted, they are the most ancient and most resistant of mathematical mysteries. T. Gower has described primes as seemingly random, yet not entirely so a tantalizing puzzle that is frustrated and fascinated in equal measure. The great G.H. Hardy spoke of their mysterious attraction, while Paul Erdos humbly admitted, we may never fully comprehend the secrets. But what if we told you that today we're about to pull back the curtain on this age-old mystery? The impact of the discovery has been profound, Esteemed professionals across mathematics, engineering, and computer science have hailed it as amazing and so simple. Dr. Royden Fraser at the University of Waterloo exclaimed, I haven't slept for four nights. It's magic. While Dr. Aditeswar Seth declared that this will shake the foundations of computer science. Cryptography expert Tatiana Katrova recognized the potential to create a revolution in cryptography. Let me take you back to a pivotal moment in this journey. I had the privilege of presenting my work to Dr. Scott Vanstone, a titan in the field of mathematics and cryptography at the University of Waterloo. Dr. Vanstone's credentials were impeccable. A distinguished professor, prolific author, recipient of numerous prestigious awards. And when I finished my presentation, his reaction was unforgettable. He placed his head in his hands and looked at me and said, Do you have any idea what this means? To understand the significance of this discovery, let's briefly touch on why prime numbers are so crucial in our modern world. Take a simple example. 13 times 7. Two primes. That equals 91. Now imagine those two numbers being hundreds of digits long, and suddenly factoring the result becomes an immense challenge. One that forms the backbone of RSA encryption protecting everything from your online banking to your private messages. This difficulty in factoring the large primes is what keeps our digital world secure. But what if we could understand the very nature of primes themselves? Let's start at the beginning, the natural number line. From this foundation, we'll unveil what I call the fundamental four. Four simple equations that hold the key to unlocking the mysteries of prime numbers. We begin with the number two, the smallest and only even prime number. Our first equation is simply 2x, generating all even numbers, 2, 4, 6, 8, and so on. Next, we introduce 3 plus 6x. This equation produces numbers like 3, 9, 15, 21, and on, all multiples of 3. Our third equation is 5 plus 6x, giving us 5, 11, 17, 23, and more. Finally, we have 7 plus 6x, producing 7, 13, 19, 25, and so on. These four equations, when combined, efficiently generate every natural number from 2 to infinity. But here's where it gets interesting. 5 plus 6x and 7 plus 6x are special. They create all possible prime numbers except for 2 and 3, which we have already accounted for. Let's put our equations to the test. When we combine them, we get a sequence that looks remarkably similar to the prime number sequence. 
The only difference is a few composite numbers that need to be examined. The challenge now is to eliminate these remaining composite numbers. But how? The key lies in understanding the patterns in these composite numbers. They're not random. They follow precise, predictable sequences based on our initial fundamental equations. This is the breakthrough. By applying 5 plus 6x and 7 plus 6x uniquely, as you will see, we can eliminate the composite numbers, leaving us with the exact prime number sequence. It's a breakthrough that bridges the gap between potential primes and true primes. What has been discovered are equations that not only generate all possible primes, but also provide the mechanism to eliminate non-primes, resulting in the pure prime number sequence. This is not a sieve. These equations define, characterize, and ultimately prove the unique properties of primes, including the famous twin prime conjecture and Goldback conjecture. This discovery transformed the prime number theorem from an asymptotic approximation to a very precise calculation. We can now determine the exact values, locations, and distribution of prime numbers. Visualize it like this. Each potential prime sends out two precise elimination signals based on the very equations that define them. As we move to higher numbers, these elimination signals become more dense, explaining why primes are more scarce in the higher ranges of values. This brings us to an unexplored insight. Now, 2 and 3 are prime by definition, as we know. And the equations for all possible primes have been shown mathematically to be 5 plus 6x and 7 plus 6x. And for all possible primes, there are periodic non-primes, elimination values, that are determined by the following equations. And when these equations are used, these non-primes are then eliminated, leaving only the prime numbers. Interestingly, what has been overlooked for centuries is that when you consider 6k plus or minus 1, as the textbooks describe and as we've been taught, they create all possible prime numbers. That's been proven in history. However, the realization is that if you use those potential primes from 6k plus or minus 1, and then multiply those values times the very equations 6k plus or minus 1, all of the elimination values would have been created, leaving us with nothing but the prime number sequence. What had never been considered is that each of the potential primes needed to be used as values in the same 6k plus or minus 1 equations to generate the precise elimination values that ultimately define and precisely characterize the prime number sequence. Importantly, what also needed to be seen is that all four equations, 2x, 3 plus 6x, 5 plus 6x, and 7 plus 6x, are required to prove it. What's fascinating is that when you apply sinusoidal functions and realize that a function of 2x can be replicated by a function sine of 1 half times pi times x, giving us roots, zeros if you will, of 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, etc. Similarly, 3 plus 6x, if we use the equation sine of 1 6 times pi times x minus 3, we obtain roots of 3, 9, 15, 21, etc. from 0 to infinity. For 5 plus 6x, it's the sine of 1 divided by 6 times pi multiplied by x minus 5 giving us roots of 5, 11, 21, 27 from 0 to infinity. And lastly, 7 plus 6x, using the same structure, we get roots at 7, 13, 19, 25, etc. 
When plotted individually, this is what it looks like. The four fundamental equations in sinusoidal format. Now graphically, if you want to overlay the sinusoidal values with Dirac impulses to represent integer values, you get graphs like this. Elimination signals are seen here in color. Notice how the elimination signal density grows increasingly with each additional potential prime to infinity. Thus, the prime number density decreases proportionally as a result. Interestingly, if you type in 2x, 3 plus 6x, 5 plus 6x, 7 plus 6x into Google and ChatGPT, there are no records indicating that they've ever been studied in such a manner. To confirm, I went to the University of Waterloo Library here in Canada. They have 273 physical books on the shelves in number theory and prime numbers. Not a single one describes these equations in the history. These fundamental four functions provide a necessary and welcome insight into the periodicity of integers from 2 to positive infinity, with frequencies that are fundamental, guaranteeing mathematical continuity and certainty for any and all positive integers from 2 to positive infinity. By inspection, the negative of the four functions will provide the negative integers from minus 2 to minus infinity with the same periodicity, mathematical continuity, and certainty. In fact, they also produce 0 and 1. There are no unique integers. There are no integer outliers ever. One of the most significant achievements stemming from this framework is the proof of the twin prime conjectures, which we will highlight in a subsequent video. This conjecture, which dates back to Euclid around 300 BC, posits that there are infinitely number of pairs of prime numbers that differ by 2. Examples are 3 and 5, 5 and 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, etc. Despite its simple statement, this problem has resisted proof for over 2,000 years. In the book of proofs that accompanies this video, this work provides a rigorous proof that twin primes are indeed infinite and extends throughout the entire number line. Perhaps most remarkably, these equations prove the strong and weak Goldbach conjectures. The strong Goldbach conjecture proposed by Christian Goldbach in 1742 states that every even integer greater than 2 can be expressed as the sum of two primes. Its weaker counterpart suggests that every odd number greater than 5 is the sum of three primes. These conjectures have been central problems in number theory for centuries, and their resolution represents a significant achievement in mathematics. The implications of these breakthroughs are profound and far-reaching. In pure mathematics, they provide new tools and perspectives for approaching other unsolved problems. In applied mathematics and computer science, they could lead to more efficient algorithms for prime number generation, factorization, with potential impacts on cryptography and data security. I would like to thank you for listening. To obtain a copy of the proofs found in the book called The Fundamental Four, Redefining Prime Numbers and Their Mysteries, please click on the link below. Thank you so much.